we ever find ourselves in control of a user that is a member of the backup operators group, that's essentially like having the SE backup privilege. It can be used to grab the ntds.dit file of a domain controller to be able to dump every single NTLM password hash of every user in the domain using a tool like secretsdump.py. To do this, we're first going to use the disk shadow program that is on a Windows machine that will create an entire copy of the C drive and expose it on a share like the eShare so that we can copy the ntds.dit file without it being protected by the Windows system for it being in active use. We can use this backup.txt script to do it for us, which all this is doing is creating a backup of the C drive and exposing it to the eShare. So first things first, let's evilwinrm onto our domain controller with the user that is in the backup operators group. Make a temporary directory like I just did under ctemp and cd into it. Then upload that backup.txt file that I showed earlier. And then we're simply going to run the disk shadow command with the dash s flag to use the backup.txt script. Once that backup completes, we're then going to want to copy that ntds.dit file that is now exposed on the eshare that we just created to this ctemp directory. To do that, we're going to use the native robocopy command with the slash b flag, then specify the ntds file that's in eWindows ntds, and then save it as ntds.dit. Once that completes, we should see that we have the ntds.dit file in our ctemp directory. One other thing we're going to need to complete this attack is the system registry hive. So we can get that by doing a reg save, hklm backslash system, and then saving it to ctemp system. Now we're going to want to transfer over that ntds.dit file and system file to our Linux machine. Once we have both those files transferred over, we can run the command secretsdump.py, use the dash ntds flag to specify our ntds.dit file, the dash system flag to specify our system registry hive, and then specifying local at the very end. Once we hit enter, we should start seeing all of the ntlm hashes that exist on the domain controller. So starting from the very top with the administrator hash, we would then have administrator access over the domain controller and therefore have domain admin over the entire domain. 